Welcome to our discussion of the federal judiciary. Article 3 of the United States Constitution establishes one Supreme Court. It further grants to Congress the right to create lower courts as needed. The court system in the United States has become the arbiter of civil as well as criminal disputes. We have taken all sorts of issues before our Supreme Court and our court system to determine the rightness or wrongness of a particular issue. One such issue set, uh, decided by our U.S. Supreme Court was the issue of abortion in the case of Roe versus Wade. Another very important issue decided by our courts was the 2000 election, presidential election uh, contest uh, between George Bush and Al Gore, subsequently resulting in Bush uh, being given the uh, right to the presidency. We're going to look at, in this unit, the federal court system, beginning with the Supreme Court. We'll look at the federal appeals courts as well as special courts within the federal court system. We will look at how selecting and deciding of cases are made, particularly by the Supreme Court. And then we'll conclude that particular section by looking at the various state courts, which also may appeal their verdicts uh, subsequently up to the Supreme Court of the United States. We're going to also look at federal court appointees, how appointees make it to the Supreme Court, as well as to the lower courts of our nation. We'll look at the nature of decision making in our court system, the legal uh, ramifications that impact and influence decisions, as well as the political considerations that influence court decisions. And finally, we'll conclude this unit by looking at two ongoing judicial debates. The debate over originalism, the theory of the originalist, as well as the living constitution theory. We'll also look at the debate between judicial restraint and judicial activism. Well, don't worry, we'll define each of those terms as we go through this unit. With that introduction, let's look at the U.S. federal judiciary.